Warning, plastic bags can be dangerous. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and children. Welcome back to the shop, guys. Hey, what is that one tool that you have that you very seldom use, but when you do use it, you're glad you got it? No, it's not a 10 millimeter socket. I cheated and already opened the box, but my birthday has come and gone, and my family went and got me a new Craftsman 2 cycle 42cc 16 inch chainsaw. Gas powered. It's not electric. Trust me. We're not doing electric. Now I cheated a little. I already opened up the box because I wanted to see what was inside the box other than the chainsaw. We have some engine oil, owner's manual, the tool to change spark plug, and tighten up the chain. Now I did go out and buy some 40 to 1 true fuel and some bar oil. Now you're all sitting there. Well, why didn't you buy a Husqvarna? Or why didn't you buy a Steel? Why didn't you buy a Ford? Why didn't you buy a Chevy? Well, I did buy a Chevy. I wanted a Craftsman. Oh, Craftsman. That's it, with an S. See, right there. I wanted a Craftsman, so that's what I got, was a Craftsman. If it turns out to be scrap, I'll tell you it's scrap. If it turns out to be good, I'll tell you it's good. And for some of you haters that might be out there for the Craftsman, then tool I did buy the Husqvarna bar oil okay just to just so you know just simple all they had all right let's get this thing out of the box well it appears to be pretty straightforward even this redneck could probably use it this is where your where your fuel goes you know how I know because it says fuel that's where your bar oil goes you know how I know yeah, it says oil. On off, and you choke, and your priming bulb. Guess there's nothing left to do now. Put some fuel in it and put some oil in it. See if she wants to fire up. Probably should be doing something else too, but we're just going to skip whatever you're supposed to be doing. Chain's tight enough. This is our 40 to 1 mix. Gotta make sure you pour it all over the chainsaw. That's how you know you got it in there. Now the oil. Have to read the manual find out exactly how much to put in there but we're not going chopping down no great big oaks right now so we just need enough to see if uh we can make it come alive and obviously the spark plug is going to be under here all right let's see what happens see we got some gas up in the primer bulb we're going to choke it and turn it on Once I uh, figured it out, we did all right. It's fired right up, not a problem. 
obviously it tells you up here what to do you gotta turn it on prime it 10 times but uh there you have it well, i'm sure i got a there we go piece of wood around here that i could cut just so uh you try it out and see how it does where am i gonna put you all here you guys can go hang out over here You see me struggling with that because you, you got to find the smallest piece of wood you can find that way when you put your foot on it adds a little bit of excitement to it when you go to cut it so you don't cut your foot you know what i'm saying cut through that like it was butter i like it now i've got a tree stump in the front yard it's been there for a few years it's about three feet high i was hoping to find somebody that can carve it into a small bear for me but I don't know anybody that does that sort of thing. So, so I think we're going to cut it down closer to the ground. Just so we can try this thing out and see how it does. So I just noticed something. Here we have obviously a chainsaw. Easy, easy to dismember somebody. If, it, if that's what you bought this to do. Which I did not. Check out the warning label. Warning. Plastic bags can be dangerous. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and children. They're worried about the plastic bag as opposed to that. I guess that goes to show that people in this world really are stupid. Well, this is the one they were calling for around noon. Coming down pretty good right now. Hopefully, we're catching some more free water. Of course, this... Water is free too. Unless you live in Toronto, they want to tax the rainwater, I hear.